Hey guys, it's Mike here. Uh, I just got a package in the mail. It's my KK 2.1 board. I'm going to unbox it here. I got, got it in this little plastic uh, bag. Comes in its nice, nice little foam container. Um, similar to the, the same um, container that the KK 2.0 came in. So... Um, that's nice. That's good to see. This is a nice um, mounting option if you want to put the KK uh, on top of that to reduce vibration. Um, also in the bag I have a buzzer here. So uh, just like the first one. And uh, I don't see a light, a warning light. So I'm a little surprised about that. Hopefully it's inside. Otherwise, I'm missing a light. So let's set that aside. And let's open this up. And uh, see what's inside. Okay, we got the KK 2.1 right here. This is the this is the board. Let's get it out here. And I do not see a light, so I didn't. I don't know what happened to my light. Did not get one. Um, okay, this is clearly a KK 2.1. Uh, you can see, I'll show you right here, I've got the extra connectors here. Um, so there's an additional connector for the voltage sensor. Um, it would have been nice if they had labeled these. You've got two different sets right here, and one set isn't labeled. Both sets aren't labeled, um, but that's easy enough to find out in the manual. Um, it looks a lot like the KK 2.0, just at a glance. Don't see any directional markers to let you know that the board should be facing forward that way. That's a little disappointing. Let's flip it over here. Look at the bat. They do have the labeling here on both the inputs and the outputs. Oh, they do have the buzzer labeled here, so that's nice. And then the voltage sensor here, which I, uh, what's that say? It says six plus or eight plus, I'm not really sure. I guess that maybe that's for the uh, eight or more volts. And um, that's the back of it. So uh, it looks pretty nice. Soldering looks pretty good. Okay, let's put some power on the board here. Okay, you should have seen the firmware version and the hardware version show up there real quick. So that's what it looks like when it turns on. Let's go ahead and put my voltage sensor here. Let's hook that up. So one thing to note when you hook this up, your voltage sensor has the, on the outside pin here, um, the one on the left is the one that should be positive. So just keep that in mind. It's a little different than the other pins because normally the outside pin is ground. So you can see mine's reading 5.1 volts, which is right. This is a USB power source that I'm using, which is about 5 volts. And when you hook up your buzzer, make sure that you hook up the buzzer with the ground wire, the black one on the left. Because I think if you have it on the right, it does not work. I'll just double check that. And I'm going to take the power off and let's see if we hear it beep. Oh, we did not hear it beep. Nope. Let's flip it around. So it does make a difference. The other thing I noticed is um, there is an LED on the board there, which I didn't see before. You can see it when I plug it in. Just didn't notice it before, but it is there, which I'm glad to see that. 
Okay guys, well thanks for watching my unboxing of my KK 2.1. These are just some of my initial thoughts. So, so far it looks pretty good. Uh, the only thing I'm really disappointed about is I don't have my own um, LED uh, warning light. That would have been nice to have that. You know, it was I think it was advertised to have that light. Um, but I think I might actually try making one of those myself. So um, we'll see. Uh, if I do that, I'll be sure to post a video for uh, for anyone who's interested. Um, I also know that Hobby King sells those separately. You'll have to stay tuned, uh, and we'll give it a test out. We'll see if we can compare it with the uh, KK 2.0, see how different it is. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to get reminders for future videos.